morning today Ellie's sister is making a coffee cake and she's added six, four cups of sugar to the bowl, four tablespoons of butter, six egg yolks. She separated the egg white so she's going to whisk that up in a second. Let's cut the egg video today so please excuse me I will recap at the end what has been used and what has been done if I've left out any step just leave a comment I'm just adding all the ingredients okay that's the flour going in four cups of flour just stir it in slowly Also, if you add your whisk milk, I'm um, sorry, whisk egg white. Stir the rest of the flour.
Use the movement of the camera. I'm just trying to get every step in as best as I can. Because believe me, this cake is delicious. It's moist. The first time I arrived here, this was the cake on the table on my arrival. First, I said no because I thought sugar, sugar, sugar. And then I did just want to do it. So I tasted it, please, and believe me, I finished that cake. So divine. And that's it. So now she's going to pour the cake mixture into the cake pan. This looks about 24, 23 degrees pan. It's quite a big one, it's not your normal small size. Oh, look at that coffee color it's like a cappuccino and it smells like coffee so I can't wait for it to be done in the next step I'm going to show you how she um, adds moisture to the cake and how she decorates it how she leaves the container for me to lick as a child, we used to do that. We couldn't wait for mom to finish making the cake. Because that was actually the best part, the licking out the bowl. We would fight for the wooden spoon. Whoever gets the wooden spoon, you know you've got a lot. Because my mom never used to do this. She never used to do the lot like that. Whatever was left on the spoon, that is yours. But she always made sure she emptied the bowl properly. <laughs> so you never wanted the bowl, really. You wanted the spoon. If you were alone or you were there before everyone else, before they knew, you'd have both. So the going in the oven on 180 degrees for how long? 20 minutes? 30 minutes? 40. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. Two cups of water and she let it boil for about seven to eight minutes just to thicken slightly and for the sugar to dissolve. She now added two tablespoons of coffee. Remember all the same coffee that she used in the cake as well. And that's it. And she's going to use this to make holes in the cake and then she's going to pour it slowly over the cake and that will be the cake. So we'll be right back when the cake comes out. I remember she melted the chocolate on the bay meringue. So she had a pot, a pan of hot water below and this pan was inside that and she melted the chocolate. Now add a 200 bowls of fresh cream. Now just mix it with the chocolate. And this is going to be the deco over the coffee cake.
that's going on top of the cake with this little bit. Okay, here's the cake. Let's take a look at the pan. Making some holes. Remember, I said we've made that setup earlier. Making some holes, and then we're going to pour the setup, that coffee setup, over the cake. And believe me, this makes the cake so moist and delicious. And it just melts in your mouth. This took about eight minutes to make the setup. So all she did, she boiled one cup of sugar, two cups of water, let that boil until the sugar dissolved. And then she, when the dissolved and it boiled, she added two tablespoons of coffee to the mixture, stirred it, and then took it off the cooker. As you can see, same South Africa. Just do it slowly, not rushing it. She's going to add the melted chocolate. Okay, so just need to first soak down a bit and then she'll add the melted chocolate that you mix with the cream. So I'll be back in a few minutes for the next step. I just now poured in the chocolate that you melted and mixed with the cream over the cake. And I did get the bowl, I lick out the bowl. Oh, delicious. I won't lick out the chocolate pot because that will be too sweet. Hub is enjoying the fig jam I made earlier. He's using a different cheese on there. What kind of cheese is that, Elio? Machido. So what animal is that? I think it's a mix of cow and sheep. Cow and sheep mix. I'm not sure, but... Okay, what is it called, though? Machido. Machido, okay. Spanish cheese. Mm. Very flavorful. Right, so that is the melted chocolate with the fresh cream. And remember we, the melted chocolate with the fresh cream, that is the topping. And now she's putting some biscuit crumb on the end as decor. Beautiful. And it tastes so divine. It's moist. It's delicious. So that will be our dessert for today. You got Thank it. you, Amalia. Should I say abrigada? Yeah, we're going to the fridge for a few hours. So she's going to put it in the fridge for a couple of hours and that will be our dessert lunchtime. Okay, uh -huh. Bye for Tomorrow now. Night.